Out of my entire designer bag collection, these bags are my most neglected. Avoid making your own costly mistakes by watching today's video and finding out why these are my most neglected. Hi everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you, my friend, are in exactly the right place because we get it and not everyone does. So make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. The seven designer bags that I use the least, that I neglect. Uh, I feel very guilty about this, I feel very guilty, but um, I do, I don't, I need to do a recount actually, because I've recently sold some bags. Last time I did a proper count, it was about 32. I still think it's around 30 mark. This is the number of bags in my collection. I will do a full collection again, because my collection's changed a lot since the last video that I put out. I'll pop a link to that up here if you want to check it out. But yeah, it's changed a lot since then, and I am aware that I need to do another video on my entire collection. They take so long to film, and plan for, so that is why it hasn't happened yet, but it's coming, so make sure you're subscribed. So yeah, the ones that I use the least, the seven that I use the least, out of a collection of 30 bags, you know, I'm being realistic, you can't really use these bags all the time, unless you like swapping them like every day, which isn't the most convenient. I have bags that I use like nearly every day, which would be, people ask me this all the time, my soft Givenchy Antigona, I'll pop a link to these down below by the way, and also my Odeon PM, which I actually have here because I've been filming with this one. Uh, these are my two like go-to everyday bags, these are the ones that get used the most. Let's talk about the ones that I use the least and why. Please also get involved in the conversation down below. What bags in your collection do you neglect a little bit? That maybe you'd like to use more, but for whatever reason you don't. And why don't you? You know, is it the wear and tear of the bag? That definitely happens with me. There are bags that I just want to keep super special, so I don't want to use them too much, which sounds a bit ridiculous, right? But then there's the bags that I actually just prefer other bags in my collection because they're easier to use and I just like using them more. So you'll find out what they are in today's video. Okay, the first bag. These aren't in any particular order, by the way. They're just my generally like most neglected bags. So the first one, is my Prada Cahia bag with the lion knocker on the front. You can no longer buy this bag. I had to get this one pre-loved. It was a limited edition. And this bag is definitely a Marmite bag. Like you either love it or you absolutely hate it. I get some people in comments like, oh my gosh, how do I get my hands on that bag? And other people are just like, mm sell it. But I can tell you this bag is not going anywhere. Um, I still absolutely love it despite the fact I neglect it very badly and hardly ever use it. I think I might have used it like once which is actually really bad. Um, but yes, so why do I neglect this bag? Let me just show you it close up. The lion on the front. Look at this. We've got some beastie straps going on here. Oh, Honestly, this bag, I would kind of say this bag isn't really my style normally, but there's just something I love about it. It's my favorite Cahia bag from Prada ever. I can tell you as well, like the quality of this bag is amazing. Like the leather is so buttery soft, just is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Okay, why don't I use this? Number one, I want this in all black and I haven't been able to find one. So I'm really hoping if you do ever see one guys, please let me know. Yeah, I feel like I would wear an all black one more because obviously this is red and black, it's slightly harder to style. Although I would say this actually goes with like winter outfits quite well. It goes with camel, it goes with black, it goes with white. And there have been a few occasions where I have actually put this bag on to use it. The main reason I've then swapped it out for another bag is because it rains a lot here in the UK. And this bag, you won't be able to see it on camera. I don't think we'll see. I don't think you'll be able to see but basically it's pre-loved and the person who owned it before me used this bag in the rain and it's definitely got some kind of stains to the leather where the rain has actually just gone onto the leather and it hasn't been protected properly. I have since protected it, I've waterproofed it, but it just makes me a little bit, you know, I don't want to ruin the condition of the bag any more than what has already happened. So yeah, I'm just really conscious of this ruined anymore by the rain. So I take another bag out with me. Uh, that has been the genuine situation with this. I also, we've had lockdowns. I'm gonna caveat that all of these bags that I've neglected with lockdowns. So we haven't been using our designer bags as much. We are out now though, haven't used it yet, but definitely want to soon. As well, I kind of, this is like an evening size bag. It's not a big bag. It's a very heavy bag. It's not practical. Uh, so to take it out shopping all day, sometimes I want to because it just looks so cool, I think. 
but it isn't the most practical in terms of weight. I know it's gonna get really heavy, so I'd probably take it out for some drinks when I'm gonna be able to put the bag down, go up for some lunch, something like that, or use it as an evening bag. However, I gravitate towards my Chanel bags for evening, evening bags, because I don't get to use them a whole lot, like my Pearl Chanel Boy bag, for example. I love that bag. So if I'm going somewhere special, I will gravitate towards those bags as opposed to my Prada Cahia. But yeah, I'm really hoping that I do find a way to use this some more. But either way, I like it so much. I don't care that it's sat around not really being used. Like this bag was so hard to find and I'm definitely not going to be parting with it. I still absolutely love it. Bag number two that I neglect very badly and I feel really bad about this. However, you guys as luxury lovers will probably understand some of my reasons why maybe. It is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the giant monogram. So for us collectors out there, this is quite a rare piece. If you want to buy one of these now, you will be paying a, a huge premium over what they actually retailed for. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. One of the reasons I don't use it so much, there's a few reasons. One of them is just the size and shape of the bag. I have come to accept that I, the speedy like shape and size isn't really a bag for me. Maybe one of the smaller ones would be now that they're bringing them out in like size 20. And I like the nano versions, I think they're really cute. But this is, a, this is quite a big bulky bag and I just don't use it for that reason. I don't feel like it works the best as a crossbody bag because of its size. This one does come with a crossbody strap, which is one of the reasons that I love it, but again, it's, it's quite a bulky, a bulky bag. Use it with the top handles, but because this is so rare, I don't want to use it because I don't want to like harm it in any way, which sounds ridiculous. And I already know this about myself, Vachetta leather, you know, this untreated leather, which is absolutely glorious can tell you it smells glorious on this bag as well. And this is like a slightly darker, they've like um, naturally darkened this before it came out. It's not as dark as like the really bright untreated leather you get. It's like a honey color. I just don't want to damage the handles at all. I don't want to get my makeup on them. I don't want to get rain on this bag. Yeah, I think sometimes if you get something that is quite rare and you're quite aware that, you know, if something happens to this, getting another one is going to be like, just not fun and you're going to be paying over the odds and you don't know what the condition will be like it just makes me more wary of using the item i do think this is a beautiful bag for the reasons that it's rare and that i love it i'm not ready to sell it even though i literally do not use this bag like i said like twice this was prior to lockdown have not used it since i don't even know when i'm going to use it like i haven't got anything in the in my plans that i think i would use it for it's not a shopping bag, it's too big. I prefer like a smaller crossbody. It's not an evening bag. I work for myself, I work from home, so I don't need a big bag to carry stuff around really anymore. I, I, I don't know, I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. Maybe to like a conference or something like that if I wanna take a few bits with me. But when you're at a conference, I don't know, like you don't really know the layout of a room and sometimes you might have to stuff them like in front of you under chairs or leave them somewhere. And do I really wanna leave this beautiful specimen anywhere where I can't see her or she might be near feet? Um, I'm not so sure. But yeah, that's why this one is neglected, but again, not ready to let this one go yet. My next neglected bag, I have spoken about this on the channel a few times before, so I'm gonna keep this one brief because it's really straightforward. It is my Saint Laurent Kate wallet on chain bag. I love this bag. This was one of my first ever designer evening bags. If you're looking for a, a simple, classy looking designer evening bag, go for a YSL go for a YSL every day. They're absolutely stunning. This is in like a crushed velvet. Uh, she is beautiful. This is why she's here. She's, she's beautiful. I love this bag. I never use it. The reason I don't use it is because I have now bags in my collection that I feel are more special. And when I do get an occasion to use one of my more special bags, when I feel safe to use them, when I'm going out for dinner or to a nice hotel, something like that, I don't pick up this bag because I will pick up a Chanel. That is a simple reason why I don't use this anymore. I think I've got too many black and gold bags in my collection. I excessively buy black and gold because I just feel like, oh, I can justify that it goes with everything. Guys, if, if you are the same, I know, I know a lot of you are, we all love a, a nice simple color combination because they do go with everything, right? But there comes a point where you buy too many of the same thing and you just don't end up using them. That is exactly what has happened with this bag. It's still gorgeous. I still don't know if I'm ready to sell it, but I'm like getting ready to sell it. I'm like building up to the moment that I say bye to this bag, but I'm not, I'm not quite there just yet. My next most neglected bag is probably one of my cutest bags. Oh my gosh. This is my Louis Vuitton Lock Me mini backpack. So cute. Black and gold. Again, just 
black and gold. Black leather, gold, Louis Vuitton on the front and the straps here so I can wear it as a backpack. Um, I really like this bag as well because you get these additional hoops on top here and you can turn it into a crossbody bag, the same as what you can with the Palm Springs mini backpack from Louis Vuitton. So this bag, I saw it, I was like, a lot of people have got the Palm Springs mini, I sold mine, I am contemplating adding another one to my collection, um, but I sold mine because the zipper was just an absolute nightmare, I had the old version of the bag. This one, I was like, super simple, like, do the lock, straight into the bag. Um, I would say this is an easier bag to use, however I don't really use it and the reason being is not because I don't like this bag in any way shape or form because I absolutely love it. I often forget I've got it, I know that sounds awful, I actually store this one in its dust bag and then I put it in its box sometimes as well. I like to air the bags out and rotate them round, this is one that I probably need to rotate more but because it's been in a box and kind of eye out of eyesight I yeah, just kind of forget to actually use it. So I did use it recently. I took it to Meadow Hall with me and I thought it was super cute. I wore it as a backpack and it was, it was really, it's quite a lightweight bag as well. So I have used it, but to be honest, definitely not a lot. Like some people use their like mini backpacks all the time. I don't because, and again, I'll go back to the same point that I made at the start. I actually prefer other bags more than this one for everyday use, like my Odeon. This is such a sturdy bag. The canvas is so thick. Like, I'm just not afraid to use this. This is slightly more delicate, dainty looking, can't fit as many bigger items in as the Odeon can or the Givenchy Antigona in the soft. So those are the two that I actually go for. This isn't an evening bag. This for me is very much a casual day, like shopping bag. So I think the only reason I don't use this is purely because I have other bags that I gravitate towards. It's not really any kind of bashing of this bag because it's just so cute, look at her. The next bag that I neglect a lot, which I feel incredibly guilty about this one because it is one of my most expensive designer bags in my collection and it's also one of the most special designer bags in my collection. Since I have had this bag, it has not left the house or maybe it's left the house once. Maybe it's left once, but yeah, that, that's it. Anyway, it is my Louis Vuitton Capucine Mini. Uh, this is in the black leather with the Python handle and flap gold hardware okay look at her go she is she's everything i love this bag i actually really want the galay color with the gold hardware python handle this is the one that i really wanted at the time i was told by louis vuitton like you cannot get the galay color but we've got the black in so i thought to myself well i'll get the black i'm glad that i did because i got this prior to the huge price increase uh, this went up like 800 pounds overnight like a few weeks after i bought it so I'm glad that I did get the black I couldn't get the galay at the time now I think it is available I tried it on when I was in Dubai I just need to see if they've got stock in the UK because it was quite significantly more expensive to buy it in Dubai if you haven't seen that vlog by the way click up here make sure you watch that next because there is so much eye candy in that video anyway so back to back to this why don't I actually why don't I use it the reason I don't use it is because it's a very special piece it's very special. I haven't had it that long. I, I've had it about six months, six to seven months I think it is now. So not like a, a, you know, a huge amount of time to really get it going. But because this has Python on the flap here, this does come with a crossbody strap, which I, I, I don't really love the crossbody strap, okay? Is it in here? No, I've put left it in this box. The strap is quite a thick strap on this Capucine bag. I wish it was like a thinner one, so it looked a bit more, I don't know, dainty and cute, but it doesn't. It's quite a bulky piece. So to wear this crossbody, I know that this python, and because it's got scales, is going to rub on whatever I wear it with. So for me, this isn't an everyday bag for that reason. Like I'm too concerned about damaging the python on this. So I will use it as a top handle bag. Again, we've got python on here. I'm really careful about like makeup and having stuff on my hands and touching this. But I don't want to be like, ridiculous with it. I do want to actually use it at some point. I'm just saving it for special occasions. I do tend to gravitate. I do this with dresses as well. I like to buy dresses and bags for really special occasions, but I don't actually have that many special occasions to go to. So if anyone's got any special occasions out there that they want to invite me to, maybe I can give her an outing. And a quick note, if you are looking to buy a Capucine mini bag, I also have a scarlet leather version, so all leather, and I use that scarlet version more because it is all leather. I'm not worried about the handle. I feel like it's just such a quality bag. I took that one with me to Dubai and it looked amazing. Like, so if you are looking for a Capucine bag and you 
want to make sure that you use it and the Python is maybe an issue and you don't want to save it for special, you do want to use it like a little bit more when you're on your like shopping trips, I would probably say go for an all leather version. Now, I know that my next most neglected bag that I'm about to share with you is probably going to cause a lot of people to ask me, do you want to sell it to me in the comments? I don't feel like I'm ready to sell this yet. Okay, this is my next most neglected bag. And I, I really don't want to admit this because I was like, I'm gonna wear this bag, I'm gonna wear it all the time. Okay, it's an everyday bag for me. And again, same problem as with a few other bags in my collection. I've just got ones that I gravitate towards more. It is my Louis Vuitton bum bag. These are hot right now because Louis Vuitton have stopped selling them. So everyone wants these bags. They are selling for an absolute premium. If I wanted to sell it, now is the time. But I do think they are bringing the bum bag back, by the way. So if you do want a bum bag, don't panic purchase anything. Uh, I think they will be bringing it back out. I like this bag. I got it because I don't have a bum bag in my collection and I wanted to add one. It made sense. I really like that this can be worn like as a shoulder bag. It can be worn as a crossbody bag and you can also wear it around the waist as a bum bag. I often get, if I'm wearing a bag for quite a few hours, shoulder pain. So the fact that I can put this around my waist and walk around all day with it when I'm out like walking or traveling, I really like the idea of that. The problem is when I'm actually on those adventure days, I will have like a normal rucksack. I won't have a designer bag with me or just something that I don't really care if it gets muddy, if it gets dusty, I'm gonna be in and out of it, get my water bottle all the time and snacks. So yeah, the bum bag for me hasn't been used really at all. I've used it a few times before lockdown, maybe a, a few times after lockdown, like twice maximum. But yeah, it's just not a bag that I use a lot because again, where are we? Here she is, my trusty Odeon. Again, I just use this all the time. Very similar bags, guys. Black leather, canvas. Um, I just find this a lot easier to use. Um, another thing to note about the bum bag is the zipper. You have to like pull the canvas up to get into it. And then you don't wanna keep like having this down and then try and zip it because it can catch the canvas and it's not like the smoothest zip. So you have to roll it back, roll it down and then we're good. So yeah, don't really use it a lot for that reason as well. It's not the easiest bag to use. And finally, I have never used this bag since I purchased it. I still love it, but here we go. <laughs> this is the Givenchy Infinity Bucket Bag. I love this. I love it as much as like the first time I ever saw it. It's absolutely stunning. The leather is just so gorgeous. Look at it, look at the shine here. Oh. You've got Givenchy on the side, we've got the chain. You throw it on your shoulder like this. I've just never done this. It sits nicely, it's a comfortable bag. Not the most lightweight bag, I will say that. Obviously you've got the chains on there and the leather. So that is probably one of the reasons why I haven't used this bag. Still love it. It's kind of like the Kahia bag for me. I like it so much, I'm just not ready to say goodbye to it. I'm like on the fence with this one because it really is, it's quite a big bag. And I think it's like a great grab and go bag but there's no security to it either. Like you can just open it out like this. It has got a magnetic closure, but it's not like a zipper, for example. So it's not a bag that, you know, pe people can literally put their hands into this bag, which scares me. And I wouldn't take it shopping because it's too heavy and I don't like shoulder bags. I wear cross body bags when I'm out shopping. It's not an evening bag. Obviously it's much more of a, a day bag. Would I take it out for like uh, drinks and out to lunch? If I do that, I probably don't need such a big bag. So. This has not been used. This has not been used. This is very neglected, but I still think it's really pretty. So this one might be in the firing line in the near future. If I can, you know, just accept that it needs to go, I need to get something else instead or nothing instead. Maybe just not have the bag in general. But yeah, you know, when you just, you get something out, when I get this bag out and I remember that I've got it, that's, that's really bad. But when I do remember that I've got it, I'm kind of like, oh, you are, you are stunning. And I'm normally not a silver hardware person. I love gold hardware, but I just think the silver actually looks really nice on this. It's just really simple. And that's what I love about it so much. What are your most neglected designer bags and other luxury items in your collection? I would love to know. So please do get involved in the conversation down below. Videos like this are always super insightful. I love watching other people's, but they're also really hard to do because you kind of have to um, acknowledge that you have some really beautiful pieces. There's some amazing pieces here that I'm so in love with that I just do not use enough for whatever reason. And I definitely think getting them all out, I'm definitely going to try and use them 
even more because I really need to do that. But yes, um, it does also make you feel an element of guilt that they are literally kind of being wasted, if you will. But I think it's important to do this. It's important to go through the process here and work out what bags are for you and what aren't for you. I'm definitely getting better at picking bags now that I know I'm going to use more. If you never want to miss a video release again, make sure you are on the Handbagholic email list. I will pop a link down below. And if you want to see me styling some of my luxury bags and fashion, join me over on Instagram. My handle is at handbag underscore holic. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next I will link my latest video release here for you and over here we are going shopping in arguably one of the world's greatest malls for luxury lovers Dubai Mall you aren't going to want to miss this guys enjoy